Within this video, we're gonna go ahead and cover how to add in a thing like a helmet to your character so that it always just kind of stays attached to your head. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the third person blueprint to go ahead and make this happen. So of course, do this in your own character pawn. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So to begin this, you're gonna want an actual mesh. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this helmet one that I grabbed from Sketchfab. And I'm gonna be using the third person blueprints and I'm going to go ahead and use this third person character blueprint. Now, if I go ahead and drag her in here, you'll notice that she does not actually have that helmet on her head. So we need to go ahead and add that. So to do that, we'll go ahead and open up this blueprint. So with her selected, I'm just going to hit control E on the keyboard. And that's going to go ahead and open up the editor with her in it. From here, I want to go ahead and add in that static mesh. So up here in the very top left hand corner under components, I'm going to go ahead and click this add button and I'm going to search for a static mesh. It should be down here at the very bottom of the list right here. And you'll see that we now have a static mesh component in here. This is a helmet, so I'm just name it helmet. And the important thing for those of you that are taking notes is that I wanna go ahead and take this and I'm going to parent it, click and drag it onto the actual static mesh, like so. So now it is a child of this. So with the helmet selected over here in the far right hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the static mesh that I wanna go ahead and put in this. So I'm gonna click there, type in helmet. And there is my helmet right here. And you'll notice it's kind of in a strange place. It's in the dead center of her body and we don't want it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset its rotation and location up here by clicking these little tiny little arrows like so. Now, the other thing that I wanna do is I wanna attach it to a bone in her head. Now, if you have sockets, you can add it to those as well. Should be pretty easy. But because this is a child of the static mesh, we have a section over here that says parent sockets. So I could search within this to actually find the socket that I wanna add it to. In this case, I'm gonna use a bone. So just click on that and type in the word head and we have our head bone right here. So I'll click on that. Now you notice it's still in kind of a strange rotation. So we just need to fix that. So I'll go ahead and use my rotation tools and just rotate this and move it into a location so that it is not actually like cutting through the world. Now you may notice that it's kind of behaving weird as I'm trying to move it around. You're like, what is going on? That is because of this right here. And this is currently set to local. So what I wanna do is fix that and set it to global. So now it's a little world icon. So now this will be much easier to actually move in 3D space. And I think that's actually pretty good, like so. All right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and save and compile that one. So when I go back into my third person map, you will see that she now has this on her head. So let's go ahead and delete her out of there. And if I play the game, because she is the pawn that I'm using, you'll see that this is actually attached, like so. A little caveat about this, this works really well for things that are like helmet armor pieces, right? Now, if I wanted to add something like pants or a shirt, this is gonna be a little bit different because I'm not actually doing anything with the animation in this case. I'm just adding a static mesh. So adding something like pants or a shirt or a cape is a completely different set of rules. And we're not gonna be covering that here in this video. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go ahead and just leave a comment down below. And of course, I'll get back to you when I can. And don't forget to be clever like and subscribe.